And welcome back, you fabulous third graders, you math wizards of Virtual Room 502. Welcome to part two of the fabulous problem set. Let's take a look at this. For Eureka Math, we read, we draw, we write. The total weight of three books is shown to the right. Well, there it is, 405 grams. If two books weigh 233 grams, how much does the third book weigh? Use a tape diagram to model this problem. Oh, it is it's a problem, too. It's a big problem. All right, so let's make a tape diagram. Altogether, they weigh 405. Okay, two of the books together. What do they weigh? Two of the books weigh 233 grams. What we need to find out is what that third book weighs, because these are two books. We don't know what the third book is. So go ahead and draw that tape diagram out. Say, Mr. Leggett, you know why they weigh their books? No, Princess Yvonne, why in the world would someone weigh their books? Because they want to check if they are heavy readers. Ha, ha, ha. Heavy readers. Oh, that's a very funny joke, Princess Yvonne. Maybe you can tell that to Ms. Easterly on Friday. So how do we determine what's here? Well, we do a little subtraction. The menu ends 405 grams. And we'll subtract 233 grams. And now it is time to let me say, let me say. It is time to pause so you can try to figure this problem out on your very own. So pause the recording. Ah. Okay, pause. And welcome back, you fabulous third graders, math wizards of room 503, we, 502. We bring down the grams. Five grams minus three grams is two grams. We can't take 30 grams away from zero grams. Remember, there's no arguing about that. We don't subtract up. Can't do it. No. Impossible. There used to be a cartoon on Mr. Lake was a kid. It was all about these kind of backcountry hillbilly uh, animals. And the possum would always say, it's possible. But in this case, it's not possible. You can't subtract 30 from zero. So we have to decompose 100, and we make 10 tens. What are 10 tens equal? 10 tens equal 100. We all know that. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 90, 90, 100. So 10 minus 3 is 7, 3 hundredths minus 2 hundredths is 100, and we have 172 grams. Okay, let's keep going. The chart to the right shows the lengths of three movies. The movie Champions is 22 minutes shorter than The Lost Ship. How long is Champions? So we see that the movie The Lost Ship is 117 minutes, 117 minutes. The Magical Forests, plural, is 145 minutes. And we know that Champions is 22 minutes longer than The Lost Ship. So we need to find out how long Champions is. Princess Yvonne, what movie would you like to see? Oh, I think I'd like to see The Magical Forest. Filled with magical creatures and magical things. Okay, well, maybe that would be good. I think I'd like to go see uh, Champions. I generally like... You like sports movies. Yeah, I do like sports movies. I know you better than you know yourself. Well, that could be, Princess Yvonne, but let's get back to math. And Champions is 22 minutes shorter, excuse me, than The Last Ship. The Last Ship is 117 minutes. So we're going to subtract 22 minutes from 117 minutes. Bring down the minutes, and let's start subtracting. Actually, why don't you um, go ahead and pause the recording so you can try to figure it out yourself. Yes, pause the recording so you can try to figure this out on your very own. And welcome back. Seven, minus, seven minutes minus two minutes is five minutes. I can't take 20 minutes away from 10 minutes. It'd be like asking me, Mr. Lega, could I have 20 minutes of your time? And if I only had 10 minutes, I could say no. I can give you 10 minutes, but not 20. So we need to decompose these minutes. That's 100 minutes. We'll make 10 10 minutes plus one 10 minute is 11 minutes. 
11 minus 11, excuse me, 11 10 minutes minus 2 10 minutes is 9. And there's our answer, 95 minutes. How much longer is Magical Forest than Champions? Well, Champions is 95 minutes. The Magical Forest is 145 minutes. It's a big, long movie. 145 minutes, and we'll subtract the 95 minutes. And now it is time for all good students that want to learn this math. It's time for Jim to pause. They got the pause. Try on their own. Yeah, even if you don't succeed, even if you come back and you see you got the problem wrong, it's really important that you try on your own. Thank you, Princess Yvonne. So try on your own. And welcome back. We bring down our minutes. Five minus five minutes minus five minutes is zero minutes. I can't take 90 minutes away from 40 minutes. Just will not happen. So I'm going to decompose 100 minutes, make them 10, 10 minutes. 10, 10 minutes plus 4, 10 minutes is 14, 10 minutes, or 140 minutes. 14, 10 minutes minus 9, 10 minutes. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. And wait, wait, 14 minus 9 is 5. <laughs> Excuse me. There we go, 50 minutes. That's how much longer the magical forest is than uh, what's the new champions. Our last problem. The total length of a rope is 208 centimeters. I'm going to circle that. Scott cuts it into three pieces. That's going to be important. The first piece is 80 centimeters long. The second piece is 94 centimeters long. How long is the third piece of rope? All right, we're going to make a tape diagram because this is a really complicated problem. The total length of the rope, pretend that's a rope even though it's a tape diagram, is 208 centimeters. Broop, 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 broop. 208 cm. Okay, the first piece is 80 centimeters. I don't know why I cut a good piece of rope like this. But maybe he had his reasons. The second piece is 94 centimeters. So by rounding, we could probably say 80 plus 90, right? If we round to the nearest 10, is 170. So our answer is probably we need to add these two up together because what we don't know is this third piece. So let's add these together. 94 centimeters plus 80 centimeters and go ahead and pause the tape i'm going to push princess yvonne out and do this on your own and welcome back boys and girls so this is a two-step problem so there's four and nine plus eight is seven 174 see i told you it'd be near 170 because of rounding so together now these two pieces are 174 centimeters but now the second step not the second level consumer but the second step so what we need to do is take 174 and subtract 208 excuse me centimeters and we're going to subtract 174. so go ahead and take this time to pause the tape pause the recording pause the digital tape and 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 try to solve on your own. Let me get the pen out of the way. So you intelligent boys and girls of Virtual Room 502, you try to solve that problem on your own. Thank you, Princess Yvonne. So go ahead and pause the recording. And welcome back. First thing we do is we drop down our centimeters. 8 centimeters minus 4 centimeters is 4 centimeters. Can't take 70 away from zero. Ain't going to happen. We don't subtract up. Ain't going to happen. I see kids do that all the time. So we're going to decompose 100, make 10 tens here. 10, uh, excuse me, actually 10 tens minus 7 tens is 3 tens. And there's our answer because 100 minus 100 is zero. So this mystery length of rope is 34 centimeters. I bet if we added 174 and 34, we'd get 208. All right, thank you for being such a wonderful audience. Uh, please remember to watch the student debrief with Mr. Mystery Mad Man and do the quiz that follows because that quiz counts for a math grade. And now the awkward part while I wait for the screencast if I stop sign to come up. And if I had more time in my day, I would edit these so they were perfect. But I don't feel like being perfect.